Well, they're, um, you know, tender vegetation, gotten out there and covered the flowers. Yeah, because this is going to be pretty much the end of the growing season for many as we see potentially even a killing uh, freeze by tomorrow morning. Uh, I should say by Wednesday morning. Look at the temperature across the nation. It's cold. Bismarck at 36, Twin Cities at 21, Omaha at 28. This cold air continues to push to the south, and we have freeze warnings across much of the central all the way up towards Pennsylvania. So really from Colorado to Pennsylvania, we have freeze warnings in effect because this hasn't happened this year. This is the first one, and we're not taking lightly. I mean, we're just going all the way in with a deep freeze across much of the central and eastern United States for tonight and tomorrow night. No frost, just a freeze. Now we've skipped the beginning stages and going right into the thick of it. All right, so tomorrow I'm predicting 30 degrees for your morning low. Record is 29, so we're only close to that. I was previously set back in 1922 and 1948. Wednesday morning, it's going to be even colder. 25 is what I'm forecasting. The old record, 27, set back over 100 years ago. So again, this is some incredibly cold air for this time of year. It's going to be rather short lived, but it is going to wreak havoc on growing. That's pretty much going to end the growing season for us here in eastern Oklahoma. Look at the temperature trend for highs. I mean, look tomorrow 52 normal high 73 well below that. This is more normal for December. Just to give you an idea. Those wind chills in the 40s. It will feel like Christmas tomorrow. And in most cases, Christmas ends up being even warmer than what we're going to experience tomorrow. And we'll remember that. Maybe this Christmas will be warm again. We'll say, hey, remember October was even colder than Christmas. 61 on Wednesday, 75 on Thursday. And then we're basking in the sunlight with warm conditions before another front arrives uh, Monday into Tuesday, Sunday into Monday. And that brings us our next chance for rain and storm. So this weekend's going to be dry, mid-80s, warm conditions, 50s and 60s for morning lows. As what I mentioned, as far as rainfall with that next front coming in Sunday night into Monday, we could see the potential for about, uh, I would say, around a half inch to an inch of rainfall here in northeast Oklahoma as we head into early next week. 44 degrees right now in Tulsa as we look outside Wade's RV Weather Camera Network. We have clear skies, north winds at 7 miles per hour. So we have wind chills in the 30s right now. We saw 62 as our high, 40 for the low. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be down to 30 for your low prior 29 Grand Lake 27 Rogers Arkansas 25 now by five just a chilly day upper 40s to lower 50s across the area with a north wind so that means wind chills in the 40s throughout your day Tuesday now the 10 day forecast temperatures do rebound as I mentioned this weekend back in the mid 80s south southwest winds breezy high fire danger warm conditions mid 80s and then another front with I only have a slight chance for thunderstorms in there on Sunday into Monday. And that's because we got to get our date a little more in agreement. If it does, I can bump those chances up. Uh, Euro model saying, hey, we could see half inch to inch of rainfall if we get closer and that still comes true. We'll bump those chances up. But for now, we're just keeping a slight chance because once you're in a drought, it's very difficult to get out even though we saw the rain last week and that did not end our drought, unfortunately. Absolutely. Thank you, Mike. Well, before we go to break, a great story out of Yukon. Some quick actions by police officers saved the life of a baby two weeks Oof. ago. 